Welcome to this demo on availability monitoring. I will be covering the steps to create an availability alarm for an eBusiness Suite concurrent manager. Let's get started. Creating an availability alarm rule is simple. Let's create an alarm rule to notify on concurrent manager down. Navigate to the observability and management. Next, select alarm definitions. When creating an alarm rule, it is important you are working in the correct compartment. Click Create an Alarm to begin. Alarms should be actionable and contain a meaningful name. The alarm name will be used in the alarm summary, such as an email summary, when the alarm fires. The alarm severity should match the criticality of the resource. This alarm will notify if the concurrent manager is down. The severity of critical is warranted. The alarm body should contain details of the alarm or possibly a link to your source controlled alarm documentation and resolution. Choose the compartment of the concurrent manager you wish to monitor. Concurrent manager availability metric is located within the Oracle App Management namespace. Stack monitoring metrics are grouped by resource group. Here we will choose Oracle EBS Concurrent Management Service. Once selected, all the metrics displayed relate to the concurrent manager. For availability status, choose Monitoring Status. Monitoring status is collected every minute. We will leave the interval set to one minute and the statistic as mean. In order for the concurrent manager availability to roll up to the EBS application, we must choose an appropriate dimension name. We'll choose the resource name, then select the specific concurrent manager we wish to monitor. The monitoring status value of 1 is equivalent to up. To alarm when the concurrent manager is down, we can choose a value of less than 1 or equal to 0. The trigger delay can help protect from false alarms by setting to a higher value. However, in doing so, we'll postpone the notification. You must choose a period your organization is comfortable with while also meeting SLAs. The chart provides a graphical view of the metrics value over a period of time. You may choose the table view to see a tabular view of the same data. Select how you wish to be notified of the alarm. For this example, we will choose an example email group that is formatted for email notifications. Finally, determine if you wish to receive repeat notifications and how frequently. In this example of concurrent manager down, I want to be notified every 10 minutes if the alarm is still firing. If you wish to immediately begin alarming to your concurrent manager down, ensure the box is checked to enable this alarm. Fantastic! Our alarm has been created. We can see the alarm has a current status of OK. And from this page, we can see the definition of the alarm. This includes details such as suppression, interval, notification method, etc. We can return to this page later to disable or edit the alarm.